Salt pans, an example of extreme living conditions. The high salt content is deadly for most living creatures. With one exception, halobacteria. This is where they really start growing, and that makes them interesting to scientists. In 1973, Dieter Oersterheld and Walter Stockenius discovered a protein in the membrane of these halobacteria whose activity is controlled by light. It permits certain ions to pass from one side of the membrane to the other. The scientists called it bacteriorhodopsin. Other bacterial proteins activated by light, such as halorhodopsin, emerged as well. The researchers still had no idea how valuable this discovery would one day be. Thirty years later, this new science called optogenetics is investigating how to transfer light-activated proteins into nerve cells and then control them using only light cells. Optogenetics links gene technology with optical methods. Can it help us to influence neuronal networks and one day even overcome diseases like Parkinson's, epilepsy or blindness? In spite of the discovery in the 1970s, the starting signal for optogenetics came only in 2002. Max Planck, research scientist, found another membrane protein that reacts to light in the green alga Chlamydomonas reinhardtii. It permits the alga to use light for orientation. With the molecular biological tools now available, the researchers succeeded in transferring the gene for algae rhodopsin to frog's eggs. These now produce the corresponding protein. It was a surprise to find that it is a light receptor, that is, rhodopsin and an ion channel combined. So it was given the name channel rhodopsin. The remarkable thing is that the channel reacts to blue light. It opens up and lets positively charged ions flow into the cell. Optogenetic scientists use this mechanism by smuggling the gene with the building instructions for the channel rhodopsin into the genetic material of the nerve cells so that this channel can then work inside the membrane. If it is stimulated by light, positively charged ions flow into the cell. This changes the tension across the membrane and the neighboring original channels also open up. In this way, the cell is depolarized and an action potential arises. But the opposite effect also occurs. Halorhodopsin, which comes from halobacteria, reacts to orange light and smuggles negative ions into the cell. This then deactivates the cell, switching cells on and off using light. A fascinating prospect.